I've been talking about chassis setup and why you would want tow and camber and caster and Ackerman and all that good stuff and I've got it wheels on and everything and if you've got a, a live axle cart that's a cart where the engine drives both of the rear wheels uh, you probably want to have some caster and the reason is when you turn the cart is going to want to go straight like this one right here I can pick this thing up the front end of this thing and I'm trying to turn it right now you can you can hear the wheel scrubbing as I turn it and so on a cart like this with this live axle it's going to want to go in a straight line all the time so when you turn it's going to push which is understeer it's going to want to go to the outside of the turn but if you put caster in the front end which you can see we've got a, quite a bit of angle here on our steering point pivot point uh, what that will do is when you turn for example we'll turn to the uh, right or left turn to the left my other right we're going to turn all the way to hard left and what that's going to do is because this uh, this pin is at an angle and this this the kingpin it's an angle and this weld on uh, is also angled back it's going to make the wheel drop and when that wheel drops it's going to this the inside wheel is going to force it into the ground more it's going to put more load on to it which will help the reduce the effects of the turn and the what do i guess it would be centrifugal force trying to like push all the weight to the outside of the cart so this wheel is actually with no weight on it is not even touching the ground right now and so of course when you're turning all that weight's going to transfer to the outside and plant this wheel but it's your caster is going to help this one stay planted because you're putting effectively more weight on it and now the other thing it's going to do is because is diagonal it's going to put more weight also on that outside wheel in the turn and less weight on the inside wheel which comes back to the live axle and you can actually see it it'll lift it right up off the ground where there's no weight on the cart and while you want to get all the power to the ground you can when you go in that corner and pick this inside wheel up just a little bit it will allow it to slip on whatever surface you're you're on so that the cart will want to turn uh it, all right, it's, it's actually still going to want to go straight because of the, the axle but it will allow that wheel to slip and let it turn more easily because it's not going to be pushing as hard in a straight line as it would be if you had uh, no uh, caster and if you ever look at old racing carts uh, the twin engine ones they use dead axles so each engine was powering one wheel almost all of those have no caster or at least the ones i've seen pictures of they have either none or very little caster you see it a lot more on single engine carts where they're powering both wheels so there's a hot go-kart geometry tip make sure you have some caster so your cart will turn <laughs>